Gary Francona's Indians looking for back-to-back -back wins as they open up a seven-game homestand against the Rangers. Martin Perez starting for Texas. He runs into trouble in the first inning as he serves one up to Nick Swisher, who goes deep to left center field for a solo home run, his 11th of the year, and Cleveland has a 1-0 lead. Bottom two, Cleveland has two men on for Drew Stubbs, and Perez uncorks his second straight wild pitch. Michael Brantley comes in to score, part of a two-run frame for the Indians. They would take a 3-0 lead. In the fourth inning, it's 3-1 Tribe. The bases are loaded for Stubbs, and Stubbs singles into right field. Two runs come across, and Nelson Cruz commits an E9 in right, allowing runners to advance to second and third, respectively. And that would burn Texas, because the next batter up is Michael Bourne. Right back up the middle, he shoots it through. Avila scores. Here comes Stubbs. He'll that score two. Michael Bourne delivers a crucial blow here in the fourth inning with a two-run single as the Indians have scored four times here in the inning. That was all for Perez. He was pulled after three plus. It's 7-1 Cleveland. Top six now at 7-2. And Nelson Cruz takes the Indian starter, Corey Kluber, deep to left for his 24th home run of the year. It's 7-3 try. Top seven, it's 8-5 Indians. Man on third for Angel Beltre, and Beltre smashes one into left field. Into scores Leonis Martin to make it an 8-6 game. Beltre trying to stretch it into a double, but Michael Brantley throws him out at second base. The Rangers do not score again in the inning. But in the eighth inning with two on and two out, Ian Kinsler steps up against Joe Smith, and Kinsler delivers a two-run single into right field. We're all tied at eight, and we're headed for extras. Top of the 11th, the Rangers have a man on third for Nelson Cruz, but with two down, Brian Shaw induces the pop out to shortstop, and the Indians escape the jam. Bottom 11 now, the Indians put two men on for Ryan Rayburn. On a 1-0 pitch from Jason Frazier, he squares the bunt, then pulls it back and takes strike one. Two pitches later, though, Rayburn will change his approach. Rayburn swings, drives a deep left field. It is gone to Souvenir City, and the Indians win it. Ryan Rayburn, a three-run game-winning homer, and the Tribe prevails by a final score of 11-8. to eight. The Indians record their seventh walk-off win of the year, and Brian Shaw picks up his first win as a member of the Indians. Texas suffers its first loss of the year when scoring six or more runs. The Rangers are now 29-1 in such games. Meanwhile, Elvis Andrews extends to a 35-game hit streak against Cleveland in the loss. That ties Ken Griffey Jr. for the longest all-time.